Hey guys, um, wanted to make this video kind of on a very personal note and talk about this topic that not a lot of people talk about. I actually searched it on YouTube and I think I found maybe one fairly decent uh, video about it and that's depression uh, in business, like how to deal with having depression while you're in business and this uh, could be relating to someone who's in a depressed period uh, meaning that you know just stuff's going on with you right now you're depressed something happened or people with actual mental illness uh, in my case it's bipolar meaning like you're manic for a while and then you're depressed for a while also um, or uh, people who just suffer from depression meaning they just have the depression thing that comes you know and goes every once in a while uh, to changing intensities uh, now also small disclaimer I'm a bit um, sick at the moment maybe you can hear it in my voice so if I like like sniff a bit or uh, sound a bit off that's the reason so I'm sorry for that but I really want to make this video so I've been dealing with depression uh, my whole life. I've also been dealing with uh, mania my whole life, basically the exact opposite where you're, uh, you feel like you can accomplish anything and you have infinite energy and infinite focus. Uh, but that's not the topic for today. Uh, the topic is depression. So it's really hard to be at, at it, you know, in business to focus on something, to build something, to make you grow, be proud of it, um, actually start getting invested again into it so you really put your efforts into it you really feel proud about it you know after not doing something for a while and, um, and then suddenly have it all like pulled under you with like the depression phase and find out that well now you're depressed now you can't uh, let's say make the videos or create the content or focus on what needs to get done or hire new people so you basically lose all your abilities to make stuff happen, uh, which is uh, for an entrepreneur, that is absolutely horrible, you know, because most people, you know, if you're, if you're watching this video, you're not like everybody else, but let's say, um, let's say you're, you know, just a regular person who's watching this. Well, in this case, you would ask yourself, like, what's the problem? Like, what's so freaking weird about it? What's so weird about, you know? being able to focus and then not like, what does that happen you know the thing is being able to focus being able to sit down work every day have the hustle you know the whole hustle mindset have the willpower that's not something that's a given for someone who's dealt with depression in the past so there's literally periods there's literally times where you cannot you can barely get out of bed like you can barely work, you can barely focus, you can barely think straight, you don't have any motivation. It's not like what most people think where it's like, you know, oh, I'm having a bad day, you know, I don't want to do it today, blah, 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 you know, stuff like that. Uh, I'm not talking about that kind of, you know, lack of motivation. I'm talking about like, I don't want to do it and I don't want to want to do it even. Like I don't, like it's not even crossing my mind at the moment I'm not even in the vicinity of thinking about doing it and basically being completely out of it which is absolutely horrible uh, where you know what you need to do and you have the lists you have the list in front of you like you wrote it down just the day before like everything that you need to do but you can't even bring yourself to sit down and uh, and focus on it and just think about it um, so yeah depression can be absolutely horrible uh, it can destroy your confidence it can destroy your business. Um, I'm absolutely aware of it. Uh, and again, I'm, I'm dealing with it just like uh, anybody else who's dealing with uh, mental illness of any sort. So how do you deal with uh, depression? How do you deal with uh, being a different person, not being able to focus anymore, not having the energy, the creativity that you had before that allowed you to create a very big progress? Well, the first thing I would suggest is don't freak out. Um, realize that what you had is gone it's dead uh, I'm not saying it won't come back but right now as of this moment you're in a different phase you're no longer have access to the same capabilities that you had before 
therefore you need to start thinking differently so what used to work before is not going to work now and again that's just the objective reality so there's no point thinking how bad it is how horrible your life is just accept it that now you're in a different phase you, you can no longer just rely on your infinite focus or your just ability to sit down and just work it out uh, you're in a different focus now so once you kind of accept it you know kind of like okay this is where I'm at this is what's happening and basically relax about it, you know not be like uh, a drama queen about it just to be blunt you know although again I've been in that position many times um, now you can actually take action on it so a um, couple of tips that really really helped me first of all first one is embrace it so wherever you are even if you're depressed embrace it just come out of that phase like that mentality of where you are right now like yeah I'm depressed I don't want to do anything I don't feel like doing anything and if you really want to improve your business uh, even while you're depressed uh, just ask yourself like what sort of abilities do I get now that I'm depressed so for example when you're depressed you get uh, a lot more empathy so you actually can relate a lot more deeply to what people think because you're less like yeah let's do this and this and this so you can understand people's pain and their motivations a lot better so that's one thing uh, second thing, here, just as you can see, because I can relate better, I can make a video like this where I'm talking to you from a more deeper personal level because I'm facing some challenges right now at the moment. That's one thing. Just embrace it. Go along with it. Second thing, uh, delegate. So what that means is use other people to help you do what you used to do before. So if before you could basically sit down whenever you want and just focus and make it happen, uh, now you don't have that same initiative, you don't have that same capability. So what you want to do is find people who are extremely motivated, like action people, and tell them you want to meet with them every day and work. And just find a, a like some sort of a routine where you can be around people who take a lot of action, uh, that they will pull you up and you'll be in a routine where it's easy to take action the people around you take action as well so it's not that you can't take action it's just that your initiative level is very low so it's very hard for you to initiate new things but if you're around people who are initiating already that initiative level goes way way down so since the threshold is a lot lower to take action it's very easy <laughs> to to take action in that situation so that's tip number two and then tip number three is to kind of just accept it, uh, realize that it is bringing a lesson with it. So anytime you are going through this uh, depression thing, people who go through this uh, tend to gravitate like me, like towards spirituality. And the reason for that is that the disconnect uh, between the two states, like having a lot of energy and focus and suddenly not being able to do anything, uh, that makes you suffer. A lot because you, you don't get what you want so try exploring also some spiritual aspects like see how during these periods of depression you can actually improve like your breathing your being in the moment uh, you're letting go of stuff so basically becoming a more whole uh, spiritual calm peaceful person again that's not going to happen when you're in cycles of growth where you're making more money getting more results because that's what you're going to focus on so it's only going to happen in periods where stuff's not going so well and you don't want it to to keep happening because basically you're, you're suffering. <laughs> so these are my pretty much my best tips for how to deal with the whole uh, depression topic. And again, I've personally faced it for a long, long time. I've been into, sorry for this, just adjusting a bit. Um, I've been through many, many cycles uh, in the past with many businesses where it was amazing and then suddenly phew, like it crashed. It just starting, you know, boom, like it suddenly crashed or where I succeeded while I was depressed. So I've been through many types of uh, cycles like this. So if you're also going through that, if you also like feel stuck, feel in pain because of that sort of a cycle, then I highly recommend that you contact me, that you reply, just do anything to get in touch with me. I'd love to help you. There's a lot more resources that I can give you, but I hope this is a quick start for anyone who's an entrepreneur who wants to 
uh, feel a bit better about a situation to actually have some practical tips. So again, let me know if you need any help and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and share this with anyone you know who's also in a similar situation. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.